Today we are going to look at downloading data from Football Data Co UK into Excel 2003 and then sorting the data in the home and away tabs so that we can use the data for further analysis. We start with opening Football Data Co UK and then on the right hand side it's odds results data, clicking it and this leads us to the page which contains several leaks where football data is collecting data and providing them to the public. Our example today is a German Bundesliga and we do it on the Bundesliga 1, the 2011 and 12 season. And important is that you open the file with Excel so that the CSV file is converted directly into Excel because I heard from several users that they find it otherwise difficult. We type in the cell A1 a 1 and in the cell A3 a 2 and we highlight those two cells, go with the mouse on the right top bottom corner until we see this cross, double click and then we have the data numbered from 1 to 306. This is quite important when we start resorting this that data again. So now we click and insert another column which will indicate the season of the spreadsheet so that when we copy and paste the data into all the spreadsheets that we also have an indi indication which season the data refers to. This is now just cosmetical, making the top row bold and setting freezing the panes so that when you s scroll up and down that you always see the title. We leave the first row of the data, the row number two, we leave it marked. Now we scroll down to the bottom of the table, press shift and press the row number 307 which marks us the whole table. We click on data on sort and sort it by column number E which sorts us the data by the away teams. So you can see it's now sorted. So this one is again just cosmetical. We are going to add between the teams always two empty lines. I'm going to I'm doing it by pressing every time string and scrolling the mouse over two rows so that I don't have to do it individually 18 or 19 times but can do it all in one go which saves if you are doing a lot of different tables saves you quite a lot of time if you do a very 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 many table you probably even want to do it by setting up a macro so we have done the job, now we right click and we insert and you can see we have now two empty lines between the teams playing away. We double click on the bottom, name the tab away, now we insert another workshop which we call home, we go back to away, click on the left top copy, go back to home, click on the left top, paste, freeze the panes again, scroll down to the bottom, shift, click, data, sort and now we sort it by column D which is our home team. Important here is that you also sort by column A so that you get the teams into chronological order because if you don't do it, I just show you what happens is you have here for example first March in November, then in March, March, August this is certainly not how you want your data sorted so therefore we do the sorting again and include the column A for sorting so now we have the teams in the a nice order by team names and also in chronological order. I'm not going to do the whole tab. I think you've got the idea. You can see here we had a little mistake. We just insert it here and take this one out here. So just make sure that after you have sorted the table 
it's absolutely clean and <coughs> um, so that you can use the data further. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this little explanation and I would be happy to see you again. Bye bye.